Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Gio Malum here, and uh, today I have um, the longest video or uh, commentary so far on my channel. And um, as you can see right here, I'm jumping right into the action. Is um, this? You can obviously hear the um, audio, and I'm gonna try to um, highlight some of the audio and n audio I want in and the audio I don't want in in my uh, commentaries. Now, with this, just scrolling around on the little audio bar to record on the Audacity. Um, so I don't have to put it on a Windows Live Movie Maker, it's just on Audacity, and it's, you know, I can adjust it, um, as the time goes by. Um, that's an American Airlines 757 right there, and, uh, yeah, so anyways, the main point of this commentary, you guys, was, um, I just want to thank you guys for, um, Subscribing to my channel to all the new subscribers. I got like 20 this week and my insights way up. I want to thank you all for that um, I just Yeah, wait, I'm gonna turn on the volume here. See this is a perfect example of uh, see it was really windy at ORD that day So just a perfect example of what it is. So um, I just want to thank you guys for um giving me all the subscriptions and I mean subs Yeah subscriptions not subscribers and um I just want to thank you guys for giving me all that over the past week and all the views and all everything. Um, it's just been great. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty good. Um, I want to thank you all for that, and hopefully you see this video. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a great thing. Um, so yeah, today I thought because I had a lot of time in this commentary and I got a lot of good footage, and I just got a lot of good everything and uh and I have it's nothing really special to talk about except for saying thank you to you guys um I just decided I would talk about my crazy crazy aviation stories um like I promised you just uh well in a lot of commentaries I finally am gonna get to it I'm finally gonna tell you guys about crazy ones so um Without further ado, let's talk about my first one, which uh, is probably the most fam famous between uh, all the people that I know uh, in real life, or in my personal life, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's basically uh, on this Lufthansa A340 flight. There's this crazy German guy, and uh, I'm trying to think what, what happened. I, I mean, I know what happened, but so is this crazy German guy. I um sorry I'm trying sorry I I know I know what happens I'm just trying to recap it I know it so well anyways there's this crazy German guy and he reclines his chair one foot back on me and um everybody I tell about this story says yeah I hate when they recline chairs but for some reason some people like reclining it on other people I'm like come on really and he literally, you could tell, he literally reclines at a foot. So every time I move or anything, he he um, feels my movement or anything. And it's a touch screen um, movie player or like TV player. So I'm just like selecting a movie. And the first time he goes, stop touching the screen. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just trying to select a movie here. And he's like totally freaking out and stuff and I'm like okay dude you know he needs to calm down and then I'm just watching the other guys and um just so you guys know other guys one of my favorite movies um I'm pretty sure a lot of people I know have uh, seen it so if you have in the comment section below just tell me if you have or not because it's a beast movie and I've seen it a billion times but it still makes me laugh till this day anyways so we're just flying there I'm watching the other guys I like move and then he he just literally unbuckles the seatbelt, taps me on my head and goes, "Do you have a mommy or daddy on the airplane?" And I go, "Are you crazy, dude?" And I'm like, he's just like, "Oh, well, I'm gonna tell the flight attendants." And he's like, um, you know, freaking out and all. I'm like, "Okay, dude, you are kind of crazy, crazy German guy." I'm like, "Nine, nine, nine, nine." Um, <laughs> that was. German. That's the only thing I know that's German. Um, yeah, the triple to 101 always says nigh, because, uh, I don't know why. He says he's German, but whatever. Um, yeah, so that, that's, that's basically it for that story, except they also offered us wine on the flight, and my sister's like, no, we're not having wine. I'm like, okay, Allie. Um, so, yeah, that was just 
totally a crazy flight there. And then another one that I have is um when uh, we went spotting, me, the triple to one, one and uh, my dad, because we're not old enough to spot, I mean to drive, and uh, so yeah, my dad brought a spotter. So anyways, we go inside the Southwest Employee Area Zone, and this is basically what we get. So we go in, there's no guard gate, there's no signs for no trespassing. We go in there, we, there's like a whole montage, Southwest 737s, a private jet plane taxis right past us they obviously see us a truck drive by us they obviously see us so then like the security midway truck and this is literally what the definition of this guy like this is his rank in like the cops would be it would be like if a target cop you know the guys at target it would be like if one of those people pulled you over and tried to stop you i mean it's it was just ridiculously crazy and i was like okay um so he pulls us over, well, he doesn't pull us over, but he comes to us and he goes, you're not allowed to be here, do you work here, I don't know, all this crap, oh, it was, uh, United 757, so, yeah, um, that's pretty good, too, and he, like, gets us in trouble, and I did have a video reaction, I was gonna post on the great rivalry of it, but, um, unfortunately, uh, I just didn't decide to post it, so, uh, yeah, that's basically it for that story, and I was kind of peeled after that, because, we missed a whole montage of Southwest 737s. And uh, speaking on, of that, I want to talk to you guys about some flight info um, just coming up. So in about 10 days, I think it is, a little less than 10 days, my dad's flying um, a United 747 to uh, China, then a United 767 to Japan, then a United 747 back to Chicago. And... I just think that's uh, pretty good because, well, yeah, I, I just think that's really good because, you know, yeah, that's, that's really good. Um, because, you know, that's really great footage. And um, he's also flying a United 757. I don't know if he has window yet, but uh, he's also flying that, some regional little jet, and uh, A320 back, and that's going to California and uh, and back. And then... I'm flying to DC and I still don't know the flight info and it's in like less than two weeks. I'm like, you crazy stupid teachers. And anyways, so it's either going to be Southwest United or American. And I know you guys, if you guys have known me, um, I love, love Southwest. It's a great airline. It's a great plane. But you know what? Everybody knows how I would have a 737s basically all on my channel. I mean, then there's the A340 video, and then there's the A319 video, but that's basically it. So, uh, but it's mostly South by 737. It's getting kind of annoying now. Um, yeah, so I'm going for United on American. Um, yeah, that would just be cool to get. Um, and th that's basically what we've heard right now. Me and the Triple Squad on one are going to do an intro. We tried to make one, but it wasn't that good. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to make one of um a flight info once we figure out what airline we're flying and we're really freaking excited for the freaking trip um it's gonna be really good so uh yeah um so this commentary is coming to a close i just want to thank you guys all again for subscribing to me and uh see you later bye